Hello guys, today I want to show you a situation with eloquent grouping. What if you want to show the records with their children records separated by comma, which is pretty often in the table of reports or something like that. So for example, you have users and each user may have multiple orders with has many relationship. And you want to list the users with the items that they ordered in multiple orders. So for example, user ID 4 has two orders and you want to list those item names iPhone and Samsung Galaxy comma separated and I will show you two ways one is with eloquent collections and another one is with one MySQL function so here's the situation in my Tinkerwell I have user has many orders and this would be the way how you would use collection method plug so you get the orders and then this would be for example blade but I was too lazy to create the full project with view so I just opened up my Tinkerwell and echo it to you and this is the result at the bottom let's refresh another time so this is first name and last name of the user and this is the comma separated plug item name so you just get all the orders and plug only the item you need of course it can be optimized to load only item name as field here but that's not the point of this video the point is one of the ways is collections and then another way which i found out pretty recently i will uncomment that is the mysql function group concat which means that you would perform that operation in the database instead of loading the data into collection and database is in most cases much faster than loading all the data and performing that in php so this is the syntax you load the non-grouped fields then group concat the field that you want to be comma separated and then the result of that is eloquent collection and you have first name last name and already concatenated comma separated string which you just then put out in blade or api or whatever you want also you may customize the separator the default separator is comma but you can specify separator and do something like for example comma space let's try it out so this is comma space or for example uh, dash or something like that then the separator changes but in any case this happens on the database level which is in most cases preferable way of grouping data instead of loading everything into the memory but of course caveat this is mysql function so if you have a possibility to work with multiple databases probably it will not work with postgre or sqlite or others I'm not actually sure to be honest I would need to check the documentation but generally the rule is use MySQL specific functions only if you work only with MySQL so yeah that's it a quick tip of grouping the data in MySQL versus collections if you want to have more examples with collections I have a separate course on my Laravel dailycom collection chains with unique filter map each and all the other cool methods including plug with real life examples from open source I've collected them into this course as video examples. I will link that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.